pay their beach class. I thought it was a shame that we weren't going to get to continue our class story, George's Marvellous Medicine. So hopefully I've worked out a way that we can still share the story together. Fingers crossed. The next chapter is called The Brown Hen. George stood in the farmyard, looking up at the roof. The old farmhouse had a fine roof of pale red tiles and tall chimneys. There was no sign of Grandma. There was only a song thrush sitting on one of the chimney pots, singing a song. The old wurzels got stuck in the attic, George thought. Thank goodness for that. Suddenly, a tile came clattering down from the roof and fell into the yard. The song thrush took off as fast and flew away. Then another tile, then half a dozen more. Then, very slowly, like some weird monster rising up from the deep, Grandma's head came through the roof, then her scrawny neck, and then, and the top of her shoulders. How am I doing, boy? she shouted. How's that for a bash-up? Don't you think you'd, uh, you'd better stop now, Grandma? George called out. I have stopped, she answered. I feel terrific. If you stop the video there, you can answer our comprehension question number one. Why was George's grandma's head coming out of the roof? Use your knowledge of what has happened in the previous chapters to help you answer this question. When you finish the question, you can keep listening to the video. Didn't I tell you I had magic powers? Didn't I warn you I had wizardry in my fingers? But you wouldn't listen to me, would you? You wouldn't listen to your old grandma! You didn't do it, grandma! George shouted back to her. I did it! I made the new medicine! A new medicine? You? What rubbish! She yelled. I did it! I, yes, I did! I did! George shouted. You're lying as usual, Grandma yelled. You're always lying. I'm not lying, Grandma. I swear I'm not. The wrinkled old face high up on the roof stared down suspiciously at George. Are you telling me that you actually made a new medicine all by yourself? She shouted. Yes, Grandma, all by myself. I don't believe you she answered. But, uh, but I'm very comfortable up here. Fetch me a cup of tea. A brown hen was pecking around in the yard close to where George was standing. The hen gave him an idea. Quickly, he uncorked the medicine bottle and poured some of the brown stuff into the spoon. Watch this, Grandma, he shouted and crouched down, holding out the spoon to the hen. Now we can move on to comprehension question number two. What do you think will happen when George gives the hen the medicine? Explain your answer. Once you finish that question, we can continue with the story. <clears throat> chicken, he said. Chick, 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 chicken. Come here. Have some of this. Chickens are such stupid birds and very greedy. They think everything is food. This one thought the spoon was full of corn. It hopped over. It put its head to one side and looked at the spoon. Come on, chicken, George said. Good chicken, chick, chick, chick. The brown hen stretched out its neck towards the spoon and went, peck. It got a beakful of medicine. The, eff the effect was electric. Whee! shrieked the hen as it, shot uh, as it shot straight into the air like a rocket. It went as high as the house. Then down it came again into the yard. Splosh! And there it sat with its feathers all sticking straight out from its body. There was a look of amazement in its silly face. George stood watching it. Grandma up on the roof was watching it too. The hen got to its feet. It was rather shaky. It was making funny gurgling noises in its throat. Its beak was opening and shutting. It seemed like a pretty sick hen. You, you've done it, you stupid boy, Grandma shouted. That hen's going to die. 
Your father will be after you now. He'll give you socks and serve you right. All of a sudden, black smoke started pouring out of the hen's beak. It's on fire! Grandma yelled. The hen's on fire! George ran to the water trough to get a bucket of water. That hen will be roasted and ready for it in any moment! Grandma shouted. George sloshed the bucket of water over the hen. There was a sizzling sound and the smoke went away. Old hen's laid its last egg! Grandma shouted. <clears throat> hens don't do any laying after they've been on fire! Now that the fire was out, the hen seemed better. It stood up properly, it flapped its wings, then it crouched down low on the ground, as though getting ready to jump. It did jump. It jumped high into the air and turned a complete somersault and landed back on its feet. We can now stop and have a look at comprehension question number three. What was surprising about the way that the hen reacted to the medicine? Once you've answered that question, we can continue the story. It's a circus hen! Grandma shouted from the rooftop. It's a flipping acrobat! Now the hen began to grow. George had been waiting for this to happen. It's growing! He yelled. It's growing, Grandma! Look, it's growing! Bigger and bigger, taller and taller it grew. Soon the hen was four or five times as tall as no four or five times its normal size. Can you see it, Grandma? George shouted. I can see it, boy! The old girl shouted back. I'm watching it! George was hopping from one foot to the other with excitement, pointing at the enormous hen and shouting, It's had its magic medicine, Grandma, and it's growing just like you did! But there was a difference between the way the hen was growing and the way that Grandma grew. When Grandma grew taller and taller, she got thinner and thinner. The hens didn't. It stayed as nice and plump all along. Soon it was taller than George, but it didn't stop there. It was it went right on growing until it was about as big as a horse. Then it stopped. Doesn't it look marvellous, Grandma? George said. It's not as tall as me, Grandma sang out. Compared with me, that hen is titchy small. I'm the tallest of them all. Now it's the end of the chapter. You can turn your attention to comprehensions questions number four and five. Question number four. Now that George and his grandma both know what the medicine can do, what do you think they will use it to do next? Explain your thinking. Question number five. How do you think George's parents will react when they get home and see grandma with her head through the roof and a giant chicken standing there? Again, explain your thinking. Thanks for listening to this chapter. Fingers crossed, if everything works, I'll get a new chapter for you ready for next week.